my kids. And you took a lie to take Yes, I did. Why were the first four taken away? I'm not supposed to let anybody that's on drugs around my children, and I made a big mistake. Why was your fifth child taken away? I don't know. I took a... You don't know. They found drugs in the baby's body. She's running. She can't take the eat. I took my kid basically right out of my arm seven days after he was born. The woman that got your baby taken away, you're laying in bed with her. Did no. they ever tell you if you left her, you'll get your child back? No. Well, yeah, actually. Yes, but they th did tell you that. Yeah. You were also accused of molesting your children. I never ever would have molested any of my children. Your kids said yeah. you did it. Yeah, they said I did it. I made mistakes and I'm willing to change it. You made it. mistakes. I have no reason to lie about my past. Not at all. Yeah, you have a reason to lie. No, I don't. Because you want baby number seven. Danielle's four children were taken out of her care after police observed all four children including her newborn baby, home alone. Aww. After that, she gave birth to a fifth child. But both the child and Danielle tested positive for drugs. Aww. So this child was taken away as well. And only four months ago, Danielle gave birth to her sixth child. Aww. And one week later, CPS removed him from her care. But Danielle is here today to prove that she could be a good mom, and she wants to have another baby. Take a look. I'm here because my girlfriend was accused of molesting her children. When I got with Danielle, I knew she had five kids that were taken away, but I didn't know why. A couple months ago, Danielle gave birth to our son. One week after his birth, CPS came in knocking on my door and ripped my son right out of my arms. And at first, I didn't know why they were taking my child. I had no idea why. And I didn't find out until we went to court. I found out my girl was accused of molesting her children. She was also accused of neglecting and abusing her children. When I heard this for the first time, uh, it hurt. I didn't know what to do. And now my son's in foster care and they terminated Danielle's rights. In CPS, they actually told me I have a chance of getting my son back, but then I'd have to leave Danielle. I need to find out if she molested them, was neglectful, or abused any of her children, or if she actually witnessed anybody else molesting her children because that was also brought up in court. Sometimes it's hard to even look at it like, I don't even want to be in the same room because that's why I want to find out if it's actually true or not, you know, because every day I think about it and I can't get it out of my mind. I'm here to prove my innocence. I never um, abused my children. Prove or your innocence. Yes. Okay. Clear my name. How many children did you give birth to? I gave birth to six. Six. And how many do you take care of? None. All right. You need to stand up. Um, why were the first four taken away? Um, they were taken away because when I gave birth to my fourth child, um, I got rushed to the hospital a couple of days after she was born and left him home alone and I called from the hospital and they, he told me that CPS was here to remove my children. So they, the police just showed up and said, hey, we're taking your kids? Yes. For what reason? Because he left them home alone. Oh, he left them he home left alone. He left them home alone. And what did the police observe when they arrived at your house? They observed my, my oldest daughter outside, outside the house and my newborn upstairs with a spoiled bottle of milk. Beside, laying beside her. How old was the one outside? At the time, she was about six. And she was locked outside, right? That's what I heard, yes. From the police? Mm hmm No reason to lie, right? No. Anything else they observe? Um, no. Now, the police report states that you frequently locked one of your children outside the home, um, and that you would frequently leave your young children home alone, that you would do that. I would never, ever. Why would the police report that? I do not know. I never, ever, ever left my kids home alone. There was always an adult, always somebody there with my kids when I left them. If you were in the hospital because you had a complication, wouldn't the police understand that, you know, you had to take care of an issue and they would cut you some slack before they would take your four kids? I thought they would. But they didn't. They didn't. And were you ever to, able to get those four kids back? Yes, I did get them back. Um, and then did you lose them again? Yes, I lost them again. Why? Because they, they gave me a chance and they said that I'm not supposed to let anybody that's on drugs around my children. And I made a big mistake and I let back around my children. Did you, did you do the drugs too? No. 
Did they find them in your system? On my fifth child, they did, but they weren't. They were prescription drugs. And you didn't have a prescription for them. Yeah, I did. Well, then why would they? Why would they take them away? You're allowed to have drugs then. Because they used aggravated circumstances against me. <laughs> aggravated circumstances, like being a terrible parent, right? Yeah. You were also accused of molesting your children. Yes, and I never ever would have molested any of my children. Well, why were you accused of it? Because besides that, your kid said that you did it. That's the only reason why. Because my that's kid the only reason why. That's a pretty good reason. Your kid said yeah. you did it. Yeah, they said I did it, and I never did. I would never. I would. Why never would do. your kids do that? I don't know. I would never ever ever do anything. You don't know to my why children. your kids would say you molested them. No, I think so. I, I think somebody else did it. I don't think it was me. But they said, they let's were hurting. blame mom. They were hurting because they were in foster care. So they wouldn't want to pick out the person that actually did it to them? No. They would blame it on you? Yes. So they could go back to foster care and get molested all they, over again? They were, they were revenge, revenge with me. Did you allow anyone to molest your children? No, I never. Did you ever see anybody do that? No, never. Because you would have put a stop to it, right? I would protect my children, yes. Are you on drugs right now? No. Okay. What did your oldest child say happened to her? She said that the guy I was dating at the time sexually assault assaulted her, and I was in the room when it happened. And does that seem like a far stretch? Could that have not happened? It didn't happen, no. It, it didn't, didn't happen? No. Even when you were not under the influence of drugs? No, I, was, I never took street drugs or anything. You took prescription, prescription drugs? Prescription drugs, yeah. Prescription drugs can be very powerful. Yeah, they can. They give you a high, right? Yeah, some of them can. Mess you all up in the mind? Some of them can. Right? Yeah. So you're saying when you took yours, you didn't get high? No. Oh, what, you just what, normal? Yeah, I mean, they mellowed me out. They mellowed you out? I, I have anxiety, so. <laughs> About what? Not having your children? Yeah. Yeah. I can, I'd have a little anxiety, too. Why was your fifth child taken away? For aggravating circumstances, and they found the, the What were the aggravating circumstances? That my other four kids were terminated. Well, but that's not the only reason why. They found drugs in the baby's body. That's what it, yeah, that's what they told How me. did the drugs get in the baby's body? I don't know. I took... I you don't know. Probably because I it's took... It's your them. child. I, I took it before I got. Oh, because you were doing days. drugs. I took, no, I took a migraine medicine a couple days before I had the baby. So they what? They took your baby away for taking a bare aspirin? Yeah, no, it wasn't aspirin. It was a, a, a migraine medicine. What? What is it? What's it called? Flornal. Moonshine? Flornal. What? A flornal. A flornal. Yeah. And and they found that. Yeah. Were you prescribed it. Yes, I was. And they took your baby away because you were prescribed the no, drug. No, they took my baby away. The most reason why they took my baby away because I lost the rights no, of my four children. No, we're talking about baby number five. Let's not jump yeah. ahead here. Yeah, because I lost my four children, so they took my fifth child away from me. And because they found drugs in the system. Yeah, that's... Okay. Let's not try to get away from that. Yeah. At some point, did you say, I probably should stop having kids? I want to prove myself that I could be a good mother. They didn't give me that chance. I made mistakes, and I'm willing to change it. You made it. mistakes? I have that reason to lie about my past. Not at all. Yeah, you have a reason to lie. No, I don't. Because you want baby number seven. I made mistakes, and I'm willing to change it. You made it. mistakes? She's running. She can't take the heat. What happened after you got pregnant with your sixth child? At some point, did you say, I probably should stop having kids. Yeah. I want to. I want to prove myself that I could be a good mother. They didn't give me that chance. Well, how many, what, what, what I kid, made a mistake with my four children. What number will it take? Number seven? Eight? Yeah. No, number seven. Seven. Nope. Lucky number seven. Lucky number seven. That's, is that fair to the other six? No, it ain't fair. I made mistakes, and I'm willing to change it. You made it. mistakes? I made you mistakes made with mistakes? my four children. With my four. Not my two other ones. My four. Oh, you didn't make mistakes? No. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not trying to be funny here, but I mean, my it's God. Not, it's hard. It's not like you lost six pairs of shoes. Who's it hard for you and the kids? Both of us. I... I was, it was so hard on you, right? It was yes, so hard was. on you when those four kids were taken away. It was so hard on you that you had sex with another man and gave him a child. And then it was so hard that that child was taken away. You laid down and had sex and had another child. 
It was so hard on you having all that sex. You're trying to make yourself look not so bad, which I'm trying I guess to prove my name that I didn't do nothing to my prove kids. Prove your name. Yeah. You lost. You lost that fight a long time ago. Uh oh, she's running. She's running. She can't take the heat. Steve's being mean. <laughs> Is this how tough you are for your kids? I mean, you're here today to prove to somebody something that you want to prove to your good mom, right? You think anybody else in the system... I was always a good mom. You were always a good mom? I weighed 350 pounds when I lost my kids. I couldn't care for them. Because you were 350 pounds? Yeah, I was in a wheelchair. I was disabled. I tried. So what about the last two? Were you 350 no, pounds? No, they took them because I lost my other four kids. So, so you're saying you don't have your kids because you were overweight? Yes, I couldn't care for them. I couldn't get out of bed. That's how bad it was. I had You got out of bed? You weren't even at the house? Yes, I, I was always at my house. Well, you weren't there when they were taken away. Because I was in the hospital because I had stomach pain. How did you get to the hospital? My mom drove me. Well, you said you couldn't even get out of the bed. Yeah, I'd crawl out of my house if that, if that makes you everybody crawled, feel good. Yeah. You crawled on hands and knees. Yes, I did. Um, isn't it true that they gave you drug test after drug test and you failed? Yeah, with my prescription drugs. They told you not to take drugs. You kept taking them. You kept failing. And that's how your kids were taken away. Is no. that a fact? No. Oh, no. no. Okay. What, what are you sitting on my chair? You're not fat anymore, are you? No. You can stand up. They told me to sit here. Who told you? That one Who guy. Who told you? Point them out. Guy. Point them out. Sit here now. Because that guy's fired for telling you you could sit. Uh... You were screaming, oh, by the way, all these drugs, that, medicine pills, headache pills, uh, this pill, that pill. No, you were, you tested positive for heroin. It wasn't heroin. That was heroin. No, well, I, okay. I would never touch, touch oh, heroin. No, you wouldn't. No. No, I wouldn't. Uh, and, and, and then again, you were a no-show. And then when you did show up, you, pass, you tested positive for opiates, heroin. Um, I'll be at this Vicodin, not heroin. No, in the report, it says heroin. This is from a doctor. Because it ain't from no doctor. It's from your screen, people. Uh, and who, who says what it is? Who says what it is? Is it some guy that works at McDonald's that looks at it and goes, oh, yeah, that's Vicodin? <laughs> now, a prescription bottle says it's Vicodin. <laughs> yeah. I don't need about nothing on this show. Good. Keep telling the truth. I am telling the truth. Thank you. Give me another I'll take that too, because I ain't lying I haven't had the results from the first one yet. Well, take another one. About I have about not the results. Straight drugs. I've he, never hey, touched a straight drug. Hey. I'm afraid of touching straight drugs. <laughs> was on drugs. He was on crack for years, and I never touched it with him. Okay, these are tests that you failed with your urine screens. Um, tested positive for an amphetamine. Um, then again, you tested again for another amphetamine. The prescription um, drug. And, and, and you, were, you were in a program to, like, help you, but you were no longer enrolled due to your lack of participation. That's not true. I um, participated in everything. <laughs> okay. Danielle frequently locked one of her children out of the home and frequently left all her young children home alone. On numerous occasions, the children have been left outside in the cold and dressed inappropriately. There were also concerns of domestic violence, physical abuse of the children, and substance abuse. These are people that saw your kids out all the time, locked out, not dressed properly, not by me. in the cold. You're, you're the mother. You're the mother. I can't be there all the time. Why? What were you doing? I was out. You said you were so fat you couldn't get out of bed. What is it? You were out all the time or you couldn't get out of bed? Each kid, what was it? Each, you couldn't get out of bed. I, oh, you're I out got heavy air. Yeah. I don't need to out of you. I didn't do nothing to my kids. And you took a lie to Yes, I did. And it's going to say you told the truth. Yes, it is. I swear on everything. Yes, it is. The woman that got your baby taken away, you're laying in bed with her. Did Sorry. they ever tell you if you left her, you'll get your child back? No. Well, yeah, actually. Yes, but they the, did tell you that. Yeah.
nothing to my kids. And you took a lie to tell Yes, I did. And it's going to say you told the truth. Yes, it is. I have that reason to lie about my past. Not at all. Yeah, you have a reason to lie. No, I don't. Because you want baby number seven. Yeah, so I can prove that I can be a good mother. They never gave me you that chance. You can't prove one in six. And they now you want seven? They never gave me a chance. Who? Who's CBS. they? Who's they? CBS. They just keep kicking in that door. We want that baby. Yeah, they we do. We want that baby. Yes, they do. Both the child and Danielle <laughs> tested positive for barbiturates and some other drug that I can't even pronounce upon the child's birth. Then you became pregnant with your sixth <laughs> child and you moved to a different state in an attempt to keep the baby. Danielle's prior involuntary terminations to her five other children caused her to lose rights sixth child, sixth to child. her sixth yeah, child. Just like I've been telling you. What are you tell me what? That I lost them because I lost okay. my first four. Okay. Okay. I made a mistake with my first four. And then you lost I, your I third. understand, okay. man. And People make okay. mistakes. They don't lose six kids. Nobody I know, loses no, six and kids. I know. I, I see people get their kids back and stuff again. They won't give me a chance. Why would they? Um, I, I want to prove that I didn't do why, nothing to I, my kids. What I want to know is, why, why are you here again? Why are you on the, the show? That I didn't do nothing to my kids. And you took a lie to Yes, test. I did. Okay. So at the end of the show, I'll read the lie detector <laughs> test like I normally do, right? And... It's, that lie detector test is going to come back and say that Danielle uh, told the truth. Yes, she it never, is. She never, did, she never did this. She never did that. Yes, right? it is. And it's going to say you told the truth. Yes, it is. I swear on everything. Yes, it is. What I are you did. swearing on? What are you swearing on? Your so, kids? Yeah. You swearing on your kids? I would swear on my kids because they're all the truth. Okay. We'll find out about that. All right. Um, now, are you in, currently in love? Yes, I am. You're currently in love. Are you married? I'm divorced. No, I mean, with the guy you're with now. No, I'm not. Why aren't you married to him? Because he's, he's, he's still young and he don't want to settle down he's right now. He's still young, but had a baby with you. Yeah. Why didn't you say, hey, you're probably a little too young to have a baby with me? I wanted to have a family. I wanted to start over with a different guy and a different relationship. I wanted to have my life better. Okay. So we're perfectly clear. I'm going to go out and talk to this young man. And while I'm gone, you're going to stand up. And if any of my employees tells you to sit down, you say no, because if I do, Steve's going to fire you, okay? I'm going to help her get those kids back. All right, let's bring out the young man that she had her sixth child with. Let's bring out Ryan. <laughs> Ryan, you uh, start dating Danielle. Yeah. Um, why did you do that? I mean, everything was good two years ago. What was good? What was good two years ago? I didn't know like none of this until like two weeks. Told I'm, not, I'm not talking about anything you found out later. I'm asking you, when you met her, what was good about her? I don't know. She was just like a cool person. We just talked to each other, you know, got to know each other. Did I mean, you at say, first, oh, at, at first, at first it was really nothing. We was just, I don't know, it was just like a, it was New Year's Eve, so everybody had a couple of drinks, had some fun. But then, I, I don't know, I guess I like met up with her again like two weeks later. So then after that, everything was good, but. You, um, didn't, you didn't find a little, uh, you know, she's a little old for me. <laughs> yeah, actually, I did. You did, right. And yeah. I would think that would be a common thing. Yeah, but then I you're just... You're a young guy. You know, I didn't even have feelings for her until probably like two, three months later down the line. And why did you develop feelings for her? I don't, I don't know. I guess I fell in love with her. Like, you know, I didn't really know what was going on. Um, when did you find out that she had five children taken away from her? <laughs> I found that out. Two weeks, two weeks after they took my son, which they took my son seven days after he was born. So here you are, young guy. You must have been thrilled to death that you had a boy, right? Yeah, definitely. Right. Um, exciting, right? You bring him home. Oh, my God, I'm a father. 
I got a little boy. Then, you know, a service shows up, right? Family services shows up and says, we got to take your boy, right? Well, you, you tell me what happened. Well, they, CPS came in, they knocked on the door, and they took my kid basically right out of my arms, actually. I mean, he was laying down, sleeping peacefully. And then as soon as they grabbed him, like, he started crying and stuff, you know, and it hurt from there ever since. What was uh, Danielle home when this happened? And what did she say when they took the baby? She just said, oh, they're coming to take the baby and stuff, and then she started crying, you know. And did I, she I give didn't... you a reason why when they were taking the baby? You must have been like, what the hell are they doing? Because you didn't know about the five other children. No. What did you, did you go crazy? Did you say, why the hell are they taking this baby? Yeah, I did actually. I, and what I was, did she I say to you at that moment? Back. She's like, well, I'm basically, like, we'll do everything we can to get our kid back. But and she I'm didn't like, tell you I'm right then and there why the child was being taken away. No, I, I, I was never the type of person that would, like, ask, like, you know, like, get in someone's business. But don't I didn't you think owe it to yourself? Serious. Don't you owe it to yourself? Yeah, yeah. The woman that got your baby taken away, you're laying in bed with her. Did Sorry. they ever tell you if you left her, you'll get your child back? No, well, yeah, actually. Yes, but they th did tell you that. Yeah. I did not do nothing they are saying. You did I nothing. Did. No. The world is picking on you and taking your kids Yes. Away. You are the cop. You're off my stage. Did Sorry. they ever tell you if you left her, you'll get your child back? No. Well, yeah, actually. Yes, but they th did tell you that. Yeah. You you got a woman pregnant that can't take care of any of her kids. Nah, it hurts. And by like... no fault of your own, she got your son taken away. Yeah, now I'm down with. Because she never was open and honest with you. She never said, "Oh my God, I used to leave four kids alone all the time." out in the cold, not dressed properly, giving them spoiled milk, molesting them, you know, uh, having drugs in a baby system, right? Yeah. Terrible thing, drugs in a baby system. And then she doesn't say any of this to you, and then a week or what, two weeks after two your weeks, baby? Two weeks Then she later. spills the beans then. Yeah. How, what do you feel about that, that she wasn't truthful to you? Well, I never knew what was going on. I mean, maybe I should have asked, actually. But I'm saying, what did you feel when she finally told you the truth? Mm. Felt like like my. What did my you think heart, about like, her when she told you that? I felt like that's that's just nasty. That's disgusting. You know, shouldn't shouldn't. And that's know who you had a baby with. That's the mother of your son. Yeah. What's what's your relationship with her like now? I mean, it used to be real, real good, but now, like, you know. It, it, it turned worse as soon as I found that out, you know, that she was accused of molestation. Are you still with her? Yes, I am. So, we've, when did you come into town? Last night? Uh, yeah. So you slept in bed with her last night? Yeah. I mean, nice but, bed? Nice bed? Yeah. Nice was it warm? Bed. Yeah. I mean, Do you know where your son's at? No, I know, who, I know the foul. But you know, name, but I don't you know, know where who, he's at. you know who got your baby taken away? You know where she's at, right? She was nah. laying in bed right next to you. I know exactly where she's Who at. lied to you. Who I mean, kept the truth from you. You knew she had five kids, right? Yeah. And you knew she didn't have them, right? Yeah. Did you ever ask, where are your five kids? No. no well, I did, but she just told me they was in foster care, so I thought that it'd be just because, like, she couldn't take care of them or she couldn't care for them or something. So and then you said this is a good woman to have another child with? Uh, See, you're not the worst guy on the stage right now, but you're a young guy who's just being selfish right now. Because are you happy with the way she responds to questions? No, not, her act story? not actually. I think she's embarrassing herself, seriously. Uh, and you've embarrassed yourself. I have plenty of times. <laughs> uh, and, but this one, and you know, this is the worst kind of story. Because as adults, you know, you want to act like a moron and do whatever you want with your life, you want to pump drugs into your system or do whatever, that's, you're an adult.
But when you bring children into the world, they don't have a choice who their parents are, who's going to take care of them, who's going to protect them. And now your little boy who's had seven days with his dad, who knows where the hell's happening to him, where he's at, who's feeding him, who's doing what to him. But you're okay laying in a hotel room no, with I, this one. I'm actually not. But the, one, the woman that got your baby taken away with, you're laying in bed with her. That's why I, that's why I came on the show to find out if it's true or not. And I hope, I hope you, it ain't. To but find it's out a, if it's true? What do, you, what, do you, what do you need to find out? Her kids are taken away, man. And every time she has one, they're going to take that baby away. What are, you, what, are you, what are you going to find out? You're going to get her pregnant again? And then they're going to come to your door and they're going to take that baby with you. No, That's because a if, it's, if, it come, if it comes back not true, I'm not going to be with her. I don't want to be with her no more. If she's lying. There's, yeah, if she's lying. I don't want to be with that. No. Did sorry. they ever tell you if you left her, you'll get your child back? No. Well, yeah, actually. Yes, but they th- did tell you that. Yeah. Why didn't you leave her? I don't are know, you picking she kept, she kept that second s- there over your own son? <laughs> Is that what you're doing? No, I'm not. You are. Four months ago, four months you haven't had your son, and they said, leave her and we'll give you your son back. And last night you're laying in bed with her. Now, I've been married for 13 years and I have two children. And I would hope and pray to God that if a court told my wife that you need to leave Steve and we'll give your kids back, that she better not even take another breath before she says okay. <laughs> and I would do the same. I would get my kids back no matter You're what. You're right, I was wrong. I mean, for four still, months though? Wrong. For what, well, but why? Why not pick your son over her? I need to know why. I mean, it's, it's not even that, dude. I don't, I don't have no help from my family or nothing like that. Help for your family. Your son is your family. I know. That's that's basically the only family I got. Okay, so why not pick him over her? I am. I'm in the process of that right now. Do you believe she's innocent? Actually, I don't. I mean, I I, I hope she's innocent. You really believe that she's lying, right? You really believe she's lying? Yeah, I do. Then... Why wouldn't you have picked your son? I don't know. I know you're young and dumb, but... No, definitely. I ain't gonna lie. No, but you know what? But young and dumb is one thing, because I was young and dumb, too. But I didn't have kids when I was 24 years old. But I would hope that even being young and dumb, that I always pick my family or people I love over somebody that's, you know, a pathetic, weak, lazy, selfish person... If your son's more important than me, then go. Why didn't you push him out the door? It's his choice. Did you ever sexually assault any of your children? You answered no, and the results came back all. I did not do nothing they are saying. You did nothing? No. The world is picking on you and taking your kids away. Yes. The facts are we have this paperwork from state agencies and the police stating that she did all these things. So it's not a question whether she passes a lie detector test or not. Your woman, Danielle, overall lack of compliance as well as her continued inability to provide for and effectively manage the safety of her children. Custody was not reestablished and her rights were terminated. They gave, like she even said herself, they gave her a second chance, but she kept picking drugs and men and everything else over the kids. What makes you think that she's gonna turn around and pick doing right uh, 
for your child when she didn't do it for the other five? Honestly, I don't know if she's going to or not. Do you? But I just had like this thing called MDT meeting like two weeks ago, and that's when they tell you everything you got to do, like to get your and kid back. And they said, get your, leave her. That, that, yeah, I got to leave her. And and why didn't you just do... walk out of that meeting and say you're done? I did actually walk out the meeting. But you didn't tell her she's done. And she wasn't even there. But then you went home to her. <laughs> yeah, but she was at work. But yeah, basically. Okay, come on, man. You want to start talking like her now? Nah, not at all. Okay. Um, I, I just, I, I don't get it, man. I, I, and, and, and I, you know, I try to be nice to everybody on my show, but there's certain people, and like this story here, I can't be nice to her. I, she can't be nice to her own kids. She had a chance to get them back, and she picked drugs and men and all these selfish things, and she's a damn liar, as we clearly established backstage. Oh, no, oh, I, I was so fat I couldn't get out of bed. Oh, but then I was gone all the time. Well, which is it? You know what I mean? What, what, what were you Whether doing? Whether you in bed or gone all the time, it don't make no sense to hey, me. Hey, you know you what? Said that. People have issues with weight, and they take care of their kids, okay? That's not an excuse. People take care of their kids all the time. See, you say, well, now I'm going to leave her that you failed the lie detector test. What, are state agencies and reports and police reports not good enough for you? If I had that, I wouldn't need a police or a damn lie detector test to tell me I need to get away from this woman, go get my son back and take care of him. I'm going to bring her out. I'm going to bring the love of your life back out here. Let's bring Danielle back out. Do we need a wheelchair for her or? <laughs> or maybe get four of my security guys to carry her out here? Now, didn't I tell you that you could leave me to ch um, to get yeah, you to your son? Yeah, you I told you all when right, he got taken right, off me, I said, I said, you can leave. I said, walk out that door if you want your son. If your son's more important than me, then go. Why I didn't you push him out the door? Why didn't you push him out the door? It's his choice. And so you're going to let him stay and not be with his son? No, I told him to leave. But I he told didn't. him from day one but to he leave. Didn't I leave. made a mistake. But I chose a man. But he didn't leave. No, he didn't leave. I chose a man over my kids, and I regret it every single day. And that's now he's why doing I told the same him. thing. And, and that's why I told him. Thing. I told him from the very beginning. I did the same thing. I, I chose my kids over a man, and, and wanna, I'm admitting that. Do you want to stay with him, this guy right here? Yes, I love him. You love but him. But if he wants, if he no, chooses no, no, no. his Just child, answer the question I'm asking. Yes, I do, do you love want to him. Stay with him. And you plan on getting pregnant by him again? Not, not right away, no. But someday. Maybe. Maybe. If I can clear my name and stuff, yeah, I do want another clear child. Clear your name with who? With, with everybody, with him. With everybody. With, with. And that's why you're ultimately here. Yes. To clear your that name. I did not do nothing. They are saying. You did, I did. nothing. No. I, I, I chose a man over my world, children. That's world, what I did. The world is picking on you and taking your kids yes. away. Do you have any shame at all? Yeah, I have a lot of shame. I cry over my kids every single day. I think is about them true? every single day. She cries every day? You were there. Does she cry every day? She you does. See, you walk she into the room and she's on the bed. She's crying, crying, crying. Sometimes. Every and, day. And what do you say when I do every cry? Day. Stop Some, crying. Every day. Stop crying. Every day. I wouldn't say every day. Not every day. So we caught you in another lie. It is almost every day. That's why I want to tears with his son. I'm a lot older. I'm a two. Would you ever get her pregnant again? Uh, I don't think. So. I don't think so. You're just as bad as her, man. Did you ever sexually assault any of your children? You answered no, and the results came back all the same. Danielle, we asked you, did you ever sexually assault any of your children? You answered no. You told the truth.
We asked you, did you ever witness anyone else sexually assault or molest your children? You answer no. Did you know your children were being sexually abused and you did nothing to protect them? You answer no. Did you ever intentionally lock any of your children outside the house? You answered no. Have you ever intentionally left your children alone and unattended for long periods of time? And she answered no to that. And the results for those questions came back all the same. And it came back that she did not tell the truth. <laughs> She watched and witnessed somebody sexually assault her children. No, I didn't. You knew, you knew your children were being sexually abused and you did nothing to protect them. If you had a dog in the house, a dog would protect those children. A dog. A mother did not do it. Yes, I did. Dan Rebikoff's notes concerning you and your lie detector test. The subject was more concerned in getting back to the hotel to get her boyfriend to sightsee in Stanford, then clear her name in the polygraph test. She asked me if the test would be over soon, as she was concerned that she would not be able to see the town of Stanford. You know, them, them texts are lies, so. These are all lies. Yeah. You, you passed whether you molested your child, mm -hmm. your children, you passed. And for everything else you failed. And only, like I said, this isn't a case of lie detector tests proving your innocence. We have police reports. We have reports from DCFS stating that this is what you did. So your kids were taken away because of all these things. You were cleared of sexual abuse and you told the truth. You, you read about in the paper that kids are being sexually molested, this happens, that happened, you're like, oh my God. And then you, you sat there and you no, watched I didn't. it. I did I mean, how is that, man? No, I didn't. What, because you were so in love with the guy that you let him do whatever he wants? No, I didn't. That is like, like the worst thing that you can do. I did not. I mean, it's worse than murdering somebody. You let somebody sexually abuse your no, children. No, I didn't. And you, and you don't do anything about no, it. No, I didn't. Yeah, you did. No, I didn't. Hey, wait, one second. Hey, Danielle? Danielle? Oh, you're moving pretty good now. Wow! You know what? Just keep walking that ass right outside my studio because it's nice and cold. And I hope you don't have a coat and I hope you suffer like your children. Love your life just left. Going back to the hotel. She wants to snuggle. She's a little cold right now. You know, someday your little boy's gonna grow up. He's gonna say, Dad, why did you pick her over me? What, I mean, what, what good is that woman doing in this world? I don't want nothing to do with her no more. No? No. Why now? I don't know, because I, 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 I believed her the whole damn time, and, and she lied to me. You believed her the whole time? She lied to well, me. you know what, then you're gonna be a very naive man. And your, your son's in trouble, because he's got the naivest Dumbest father that could probably walk around. I'm sorry. I'm a, I'm a first father. But I, I don't know. I didn't know. You know I what? Doing. I hope you open your eyes and I hope you go down there and you get your son back and I hope you leave her. Whether that's going to happen, I doubt it. But that's what I hope. I'm ask, because I'm the best place for your son would be to be with you if you truly loved him and wanted to protect him. That monster out there let somebody do her, something to her kids and she didn't even stop it. So if you ever touch her, kiss her, lay down with her again, then you're as bad as her. And for now, you can get the hell out of my studio too.